Hello, and welcome back to Pyre. I am Lazy Bones, and let's continue the journey. Because, why not? What happened on the last episode? I don't know. <laughs> why am I here? Oh, I did practice, right? Pra practice? Uh, oops, sorry. You find everyone is feeling rather miserable. You sense just being in flagging hands eats away at one's spirit. Only the imp, Tizo, seems unaffected. He is venerable to- okay, we know that. Wait, 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 did we ever read this? A gloom-filled, desolate region of the downside, beyond which lies the sea. Is this the sea? It's- it looks disgusting. Most of your fellow exiles lost one hope for the next run. <laughs> no! Uh, this tribute affects duration of banishment. Ah! Suffer alongside them. That's about no. Tim Tim. Oh. The lone minstrel. A moment, reader. There are several courses we may take through flagging hands. If you choose to prolong your story, it may be worth your while. However, your companion spirits shall likely suffer more. Oh no. Ooh. Man, my stomach is growling like crazy right now. What is up with that? And my mic's like, I have like this. All right, all right, let me do this first and then I'll tell you what's up. The cold moat. The north route through flagging hands crosses a mass grave. No. <laughs> Plague Mont. The middle route through flagging hands cuts through straight to the pit of Millith. I should. What's the green thing say? Uh, Hedwin suggests taking this faster route will reduce your companion's loss of hope. Uh, follow Field. The south route through flagging hands crosses diseased and wilted plains. The Lone Minstrel says you can improve a talisman if you take this a job here. The Minstrel says you can get a valuable item if you take a job here. A valuable item, an improved talisman here, or more hope here. Well, I normally in battles, right, uh, don't lose players. So hope isn't much of an issue you lose players by you know lunging in the pyre with the ball but I don't do that I usually just throw the ball into the pyre saving my player from uh, the hope thing where they sit out so I, don't know, I want that rare item even the hope this place sounds not so cool we're going in. We're going in. We're going in. Anyway, my seat. Oh boy. It sucks. Throwing it away. It sucks. So I'm on I'm on my workout bench right now. With like a cushion and I'm like leaning back and it's the worst. Oh man. Anyway. The north route through flagging hands is dismal beyond reckoning. There is a little talk among your group. Yet you sense despair encroaching. Only Tizzo seems unaffected. Another one? Okay. Later, you accompany Lord Minstrel in pursuit of his task here. He appears to be traveling. In oh, yeah, we know this. Speak not directly to the living shade, and be true to your heart when responding to its inquiries. And make no attempt to look it in the eye. The lone minstrel offers these and other words of advice as you approach the burial mounds of Cold Mount, Mont, where many exiles of the downside see their final days. The north route through flagging hands crosses a mass grave. Even a thorough burning failed to lends a certain haunted air here. Oh, okay. That's how we know this. Okay. Oh, no. 
A glimmer of a shade appears before you as you stand surrounded by the dead. You barely see it, and it does not speak, but you feel its thoughts piercing your heart and mind. Oops. Uh, according to the shade, the book that you possess may lay some of the fallen here to rest. The shade leaves you to your work. You turn through the book, locating passages concerning freedom and the spirit. You recite such words as you seem best fit to each of the fallen you see. It is draining work. The, sh the, sh uh, the shade resurfaces after a while. It leads you to a hollowed stump, then fades away. You found a Nox shroom. You quickly put it away. Shrooms. <laughs> Uh, wait. Uh, by the time you reach the pit of Melith, everyone besides the Impetizo seems to be feeling even worse than before. You sense their desire to leave this place as soon as possible. Oh no, that's minus three now total. Commence the night! Page revealed. The Empire's collapse. <laughs> Inspect. Uh, okay, there we go. It was not long before the empire began to crumble. With my liege gone, his own country quickly turned upon itself. I must admit that this collapse had started long before the emperor's disappearance. His decision to give chase after a myth, but hastened the inevitable. All the while, the rope caller stood by, awaiting such a time as he could rule in my liege's stead. He would be our people's savior. The rope caller? His first charge was to organize a search for the missing Soliamur. Warriors, pathfinders, and scholars heard the call and prepared to seek him out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Why is this? The only one that ever gets lit. How long is this story? Any here? Let's talk to uh, Jethario. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Clearing my throat. You sense Jethario's steel gaze well before you turn to her. <laughs> Rita. Rummaging about the wagon once again. Tell me something. Now that you are here... Look at me! Were you afraid of me? You consider the question. You have never before met someone like her. But do you know something of what happens to those who remain in the dark side? For many years? Hmm. Oi, sorry. My, my throat is... Mucusy. Admit she can be a bit intense. You are very much aware that she could snap you like a twig at any point. Deny feeling that way. From what you know of her thus far, you sense no need to feel afraid of her. Say nothing. Whatever she may be getting at, you think it's best not to indulge her at this time. I'm not that afraid of you. Come on, lady. <clears throat> well, I might drink some water. All right, you tell her that, although you do not yet know each other well, you do not fear her, and on the contrary, feel safer in her presence. Tashi. Truly. In that case, I have much work left to do. You shall fear me yet, if you survive this place. Now then, I shall go make my rounds. Oh. She walks away. You feel the floor of the wagon shake with her step. Ooh, she got plus one. Is that it? Okay. Let's go. 
let's go to the market. Some flower <laughs> common jolly ties. Oh, what was his voice again? Oh, hey you guys. You know, this place, a lot of folks, but not a lot of customers. You know what I mean? So, have a look around. So do I sell this? It's only worth 50. This can be sold at... Only worth 50? I thought it was rare. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but up it raises the rank of a certain talisman plus two. Does it say anything about it not being permanent? Drag to blah, blah, blah. Shimmer, blah, 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 blah. Maybe it is permanent. Sweet. Grants the bearer plus two presents. Uh, don't know what presence is exactly. An ancient bit of tough bedrock on which the scribes themselves once must have treaded. To hope? Mm, while carrying this... The orb the bearer moves faster than usual. Oh, it's 200 though. It's too expensive. Hmm, that might be useful. Uh, at the start of the right, the bearer's power automatically gains. I could get this and this. But we don't get scored on a lot. I don't know about that. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this here. No. Nope. This. The. Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then. Uh, so I have to equip this. Hmm. No, actually. This. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's the only one I can get now. Oh, I can get that one too. Plus two hope, huh? We know what hope does now, so I don't know. I don't know. Let me get this. Just in case we did get scold on one episode where they scored a lot. It was scary. Interactive view details about your fellow exiles. Here we go. Let's put... What's his talisman? After being banished by an adversary, the bearer has a chance to turn immediately. 30%. give him this. Give him more damage. Her. Improve uh, this. 20 quickness. That's amazing. This thing... I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. Whoop, whoop. Mm. Let's do that one for him. Actually, no. No. I want to give that to uh, Jadario. This. Say how many I have left. I don't see it. And then I guess I'll give this to him. Or her. I don't even know <laughs> what it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Perfect. Oh. Must be a lucky day here. Or I don't know what, Dad. <laughs> As you make preparations for the coming right, you wonder if the stars above will even be visible through the dense fog hanging over the pit of Milth. He then. <gasps> Tizzo seems to be very concerned by something in the vicinity. The little imp disappears in a hurry. Oh, it's. Is, is Tizzo alright? 
He was so frightened. Sakunare. He was not frightened. He was just issuing us a warning. Sidanta. Silence. Everyone take cover. Jadariel makes quick note of several hiding places among the nearby crags and rotted husks. I keep forgetting that I don't have to click on this in order to move text along. You wait. Something about the place dampens your senses. All you feel is a creeping dread. <laughs> then, from the shadows, a writhing shape slides forward, its hulking form draped in remnants. The shape stops, slowly. Its head turns from one of you to the next, each in turn. Masked creature. Wise of ye to hide yourselves from us, little night wings. Ye trespass on the nesting place of the astral born. We shall see ye when the stars muster the courage to illuminate this place. The creature vanishes into the dark. After a time, your companions reconvene. That was a long, long crown. Uh, serpentine creatures native to the Commonwealth's southern bogs. <laughs> Widely feared bogs. Indeed. There was which. Oh, that was which. A dull. The mild hair of the with. <laughs> withdrawn. Uh, Udmild, uh, she is an ancient witch with an unhealthy obsession for Yilish, <laughs> the astral born monstrosity withdrawn. A triumvirate of bog dwellers compelled by the sinister forces rather than by freedom. Harum. Tizzo's Tizzo makes clear he has no love of. Oh, the mill. Mill day. <laughs> Although the rites dictate she cannot harm you bodily, with her, best not to take unnecessary chances. We'll take what chances we can get in all of this. Everyone, it's time. Oh, yeah, commence in the right. Fellow exiles gain enlightenment after each rate. Why, you made it, Rita. Yep. Made it all the way to the detestable pit of Middle East. Mm -hmm. In doing so, of course, you have disturbed your ancient adversaries. The withdrawn. Oh, no. The deranged witch who leads them has big plans in store. Should she prevail in all this? Now, as you know, mm. I normally would wish you a shameful defeat. But in this case, I wish you a little bit of luck. Really? So nice of you. <laughs> <gasps> the crone, Ud Milde, sees your companions gathered by their pyre. A little flame as that shall never warm. Yeah. Much less survive the night. Hear us. Yeah. <laughs> Make the night wings suffer. Kuki <laughs> trots forward from your ranks. Listen here, you old bot bag. You don't scare any of us one bit. You, our, or your buddy, your ish. Now, we doing this or what? The question hangs in the air for longer than is comfortable. It does seem to have drawn the Mildhe's attention, however. Uh. Ruki begins to squirm a bit. Then. Old Mildhe 
moves her slender fingers to her mask. Uh-oh. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought. Kind of looks like, um... Oh, I can't remember the name of the movie. Foolish. You slag shall grow. You slag shall grow. You slag shall grow. He shall consume ye. Ere your little flame has died. That we shall ensure. Old Milde slides off toward her followers. Rookie remains motionless for a time. Yeah, so. uh, oops. Oh, no. Right. It's commencing. Now let us begin. Sweet. No one looked like they wanted to back down. I'm gonna choose her. Joe Dariel. And then. Uh, oops. This guy. He's got cr great quickness. Hmm. Oh no! This means he has to plunge in it in order to get that too. I was gonna pick this guy. Oops. But she's also really fast. And she and she's a savage. I mean, you, you gotta go with the savage. May. Gramita. Very well. May. As the eight scribe. Oh, her. As the eight scribes once van vanquished your slash. So, shall we prevail? No, no matter where ye you go, your slash shall find ye. And devour ye. Oh, no. Is that like a poisonous radius he's got? Begin. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, it's just gonna drop. Ah, oh, son of a bee. How do you shoot again? Uh oh. Crap, 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 crap. How do you shoot? Cast. Bees jump. Throw. It's this. Ah. Uh, fine, I'm running into it. I did not want to do that. Shoot. How do you run again? Sprint. Oh. F word. F word. <laughs> Thanks. The flame is stricken. Jeez, sprint. Oh my gosh. That's how you sprint. No. <laughs> Didn't want to jump in there, but it's okay. Did he cast B? Flames grow weak. That's not good. Not Damn it. Force of will behind that thrust. Sweet. Do it. Done. Yeah. No. Oh. I thought they had you there. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> With <Ooh>. grace. <sighs> All right, we got our crew. The lifeblood of a slash. It flows within this air and beneath this world. Its lifeblood. It shall engulf me. It's such blackness that is spare. And despair. The witch invokes a profane name I shan't repeat. Best beware of foul sorceries. 
Oh no! Oh, that dash sucked. Yes. Whoa! Quite the turn of events. Did he pass? A. Oh. right in. The right is nearly ended. Oh, oh wow, that's such geez. a tiny window. Come on, come, come to me. Oh, nice move. Now go. Ow. Jump. What? No. Oh, man. That was close. The orb slips from your clutches. Nice move. Flung with considerable precision. We only got two points left. No. Okay, get that. Oh. Nope, not what I wanted. Dang. Ow. Pass. There. Your demon is banished, and it is done. Man, oh the man. night wings once again prevail. Yes, we did it. The scribes themselves surely have taken note. Mm -hmm. The right is complete. <gasps> Jidario, it would seem our adversaries failed to unnerve us. See, those bog dwellers. They're just a bunch of hissy talk. The scribes, they vanished, vanquished Yislech, just as we prevailed tonight. Yislech. Yislech. We have failed thee, and the de deed shall be repaid in blood. As for ye, fools. He stars he shall be consumed, us. and everything around ye, from the soil to the stars, ye shall see. Boundless are the teachings of the scribes. Nice. Focus, training, prowess, the path towards survival on the blood border. These rites make similar demands of us. Choose a mastery for Jadario. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so that was fun. Um, I'm going to end the episode off here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. This is uh, Pyre. I am Lazy Bones. And uh, take care of yourselves. See you in the next one. Bye.